What's good, Homer Squad? It's your boy, Homer Z. We back here with another reaction for y'all. And we back with another Offending Everybody video. And it's titled, Why No One Loves You. <laughs> That's off to a crazy start of a video and such. But knowing him, he'll find a way how to work. Because a crazy title like well not saying it's a crazy title but like to a damn gut wrench you can say gut wrenching title like that he's gonna actually tell you what the real the he basically gonna tell you what the video is really gonna be about so hey we in, let's go into it cuz I'm surprised how is he gonna trigger us this time <laughs> so we about to check this out Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get it. When you look in the mirror, what do you see? Is it disgust? Of course it is, because you're disgusting. But that doesn't mean you can't be loved. So here's how to trick people into loving you. Number one, your parents. Your parents definitely don't love you. Sure, they say it, but that's more from guilt than choice. Believe me, if they could click that restart button, they would. 45 and still- Damn. <laughs> yep. He's already off to a start. <laughs> So, so the video is called 10 or ways of how you do can trick people into loving you. See, I told you. But that doesn't mean you can't be loved. So here's how to trick people into loving you. Number one, your parents. Your parents definitely don't love you. Sure, they say it, but that's more from guilt than choice. Believe me, if they could click that restart button, they would. 45 and still living in her hometown? You think that's where Deb saw her life? No. If anything, you're a constant reminder of their failures. Your mere existence brings them anguish. But all this can change Damn. if you bring them grandchildren. Babies are like toys for old people. Or it doesn't matter how hard they play, because someone else is paying for it. And let's be honest, you're kind of... And hey, granted, let's be honest. Do you, and trust me, do you know how much my mom, my parents are like hell? The amount of times my mom saying about how oh, uh, make sure you make sure you're away from I want my grandpa. I don't know what's it, what's it with parents and wanting their grandkids and such. It's like shit. It's like y'all wasn't happy with us. But y'all extra happy when we get when we bring kids of our own to y'all. Like damn. It's like y'all happy with that kid more than me. <laughs> Your mere existence brings them anguish. But all this can change if you bring them grandchildren. Babies are like toys for old people. Or it doesn't matter how hard they play, because someone else is paying for it. And let's be honest, do you kind of hoping Dad's dementia brain mistakes a little Billy for laundry detergent? Just washing away all your problems. But in all seriousness, kids give your parents life purpose. Your mom keeps staring at her Xanax prescription, and your dad is one fender bender away from saying, Today's the day! They need this. Sure, they'll break your balls about being a free babysitter, but that's like having to buy a purse before butt play. It's the cost of doing business. So if you want Christmas to be a little less depressing, then try introducing them to joy. Number two, your siblings. All you have to do is be reliable. Car broke down, death and family, Minecraft mod adding occasional buffering. You better be there. Siblings don't really care about your dreams or problems, they're just happy you brought jumper cables. You see, you're more of a tool for their convenience. They're never inviting you to the top of the pool parties. No, it's always we need to dig a grave or ditch the car. And you can't narc on them. Narcan is the quickest way to write yourself out of the will. However, I was about to say, what's the however? Hold on, let me add in my little however before he adds in his. However, though, yeah, siblings are one thing. When you, but sometimes you'll find one of those si one of your siblings being a real a hole and such, and basically, when it comes to certain siblings, one minute a sibling might be up, and then they gonna treat the other siblings like shit. But the one who was treating like shit and such, well, as soon as when they're up, all of a sudden now the one who was up before wants to wants to help from it. Nah, look. That's, that's why you always hear the saying, even though we are blood, we're not family. Really think about what that means and such, because even though by, by, like, by family-wise, we are blood, we are related and such, right? But really, when it comes to like real family, real loving one another, you, didn't, you treat me like shit. I'm supposed to help you out when you was treating me like shit? Uh-uh. Just because we're related, that don't mean we're not family. And I'm not saying for me in particular. 
I'm just saying in general because you got a lot of families out there that be treating other family members like shit. And then when the ones who was treated like shit are up and the ones who was treating them like shit are down, all of a sudden they want to go to them? Nah. When they know that you was treating them like ish? Mm -mm. I'm sorry. They're more of a tool for their convenience. They're never inviting you to the top of the pool parties. No, it's always, we need to dig a grave or ditch the car. And you can't narc on them. Narking is the quickest way to write yourself out of the will. However, there are limits. Like if your brother reveals his favorite dinosaur is diddle source, then it's time to distance yourself. His shoe extra oh, yeah. age is not going to hold up in court. But yeah, Dara, and that's another one too. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. When it comes down to certain shit like that, you not related to me whatsoever. I don't care who you is. Brother, sister, cousin. Mm -mm. If it's certain shit like that that's happening. I'm out. You, I am no way near. Cons and every other family member too. If anyhow they hear that one of our own is a diddler. Mm -mm. We not. We call you this. Forget even distancing your way from you. You're no longer part of the family. Of course, then, it's time to distance yourself. His shoe ex mature for her age is not going to hold up in court. But if their menu doesn't include a kid's section, then you're stuck with them. Blood is thick in the water, and that's why they trust you to hold the shovel. Yeah, your back hurts, and you're not sure if you turned off your location. But remember, nothing says love like a loyal accomplice. Number three, your friends. No. If you want your friends to love you, then all you need to do is risk serious bodily harm. Doing a backflip off the roof is the quickest way to become a living legend. Or cripple legend if you over rotate. The point is, you're Damn. still a legend. You don't think they're gonna be happy to see your spaghetti legs at the hospital? John's wailing on your shin, saying, You seriously don't feel this? He's too insecure to give you a hug, so this is all the physical love you're gonna receive. But remember, what kind of love is that? I don't want that kind of love. That's a douchebag love. There's a big difference anything. between being a dumb f and a f up. A dumb f will get himself arrested, a f up will get you arrested. So choose your friends mm. wisely, because we all love hearing. Mm. Hold on, run that back. A dumb F and a F up. Hold on. Love you're right. gonna receive. Hold on, now remember, it's... there's a big difference between being a dumb f and a f up. A dumb f will get himself arrested. A f up will get you arrested. So choose. Your... So, a dumbass. Basically, so a dumbass and a dumb. What kind of friends do? Well, I'm not saying me personally, but what kind of friends are they? Basically saying, would you rather be with some, well, you know what, would you rather have friends who, honestly, to be honest, either way of them, you don't want none of them. <laughs> and a fuck up. A dumb fuck will get himself arrested. A fuck up will get you arrested. So choose your friends wisely, because we all love hearing. I bought fireworks, but not. Oh God, there were kids in this. We need to go. There were kids we in need this. to go. Number four, your spouse. For women, love can be bought. Cars, houses, Laker tickets can all turn an uggo into hubby material. You see, women are basically TikTok, just randomly swiping to the next thought or emotion. They need stuff to distract their erratic squirrel brain. Gucci bag, wedding ring, Botox. Come here, just a little throw. That's crazy. Not the bo not saying come here, come get the little Botox. That's crazy. <laughs> and I mean look, I'm not saying all women, but let's be honest. There are certain women who are literally like that literally revolves around shit like that. Like cause at that point that's why you hear the name, hence, hence the term, don't save her, she don't want to be safe. And, and even with the J. Cole one, I'm also referencing the other one to a J. Cole reference after. What was it, Project Pat or 3-6 Mafia, right? Regardless, I know y'all hip-hop heads going to probably get at me and such. But regardless, them type of women, you can't save them. Because if that's what they only, only think about... Then it's no point even trying to reason with them. For women, love can be bought. Cars, houses, Laker tickets can all turn an uggo into hubby material. You see, women are basically TikTok, just randomly swiping to the next thought or emotion. They need stuff to distract their erratic squirrel brain. Gucci bag, wedding ring, Botox. Come here, 
just a little further. For men, love can also be bought, but your submission is the currency. Daddy's looking to get rid of his poison. Okay, now be a good girl and open up. I give you financial security, you give me the cheeks. That's the deal. I know hey, you want a yo. current star coming into this relationship, but remember, the position always has openings. You said you were good at school, so start taking notes. You see how she's not gagging? or crying. Yeah, so how about you start loosening up that jaw and wiping away those tears because nothing says love quite like <laughs> Number five, yourself. Be honest when you- Bro. He is just- he, I swear, with his channel, he he's just dying to find a way how to get himself demonetized. I wouldn't even be surprised if it was demonetized for certain videos of his. Because there's no way in hell he would try to pass this. And it's crazy enough he's got, he has this million, sub, million plus subscribers. Basically it's like this. In the world of how people are sensitive nowadays. I'm sorry but I need something like this. And most people who think like me need something like this. Because boy oh boy. If people can get triggered by the littlest of things. <laughs> then shit. What happens when they get triggered by the most... And I'm not saying you can't get triggered. But when you hear what the reason is you're triggered by. At that point, it's either ridiculous or you just you just want attention. Simple as that. That's how I look at it. But yeah, back to his you crazy see how she's gagging or crying. Or crying. Yeah. So how about you start loosening up that jaw and wiping away those tears. Because nothing says love quite like... <laughs> Number five, yourself. Be honest, when you look in the mirror, you see disgust. And quite frankly, you should. Look at you. That body, that face. Oh, but don't let this get you down. Use it as data. Because if you hate yourself, then others probably do too. You think you're the only one with that primitive emotion in your simple monkey brain? No. Hell, women are basically preloaded with self-loathing. Their first words are, I will never be good enough. They don't know what it means yet, but they know how it makes them feel worthless. So the trick to loving yourself is accepting you're disgusting, but not as disgusting as others. Mike Sims for e-girls. Tom is on his third DUI. Billy brought an Izuko body pillow to school! And you think they're better? You're not the one failing chemistry! Face it, most people are trash. So start using the judgment hammer to build your ego. Is Tom wearing a gamer headset in public? Did Mike just post a shirtless selfie? Is Becky about to have her third kid with her third baby daddy? <laughs> oh. Oh, you know, I do feel a little better. So that's my vid on how to get people to love you. But if you want to know the true secret, it's stop. Stop trying to fit in. Stop worrying yeah. about what others think. Stop waiting for love to validate your existence. Everyone is just as lost, confused, and insecure as you are, if not more. They're all slapping filters on their lives, pretending they're winning, when deep down... If that ain't such a fact, trust me, there's a lot of people out here who... Hold on, let me run it back to when he starts really spitting the truth. But boy, oh boy, is there a lot of people out here living out a freaking lie just so they can say that they this and that and the third when nine times out of ten, nigga. And, I'm, and it's like this. You can love yourself all you want. You can believe in yourself all you want. I'm not saying there. But when you know when you're full of ish when it comes to that certain thing, at that point, people are caught. At that point, people have the right to judge you. Cause when you telling one thing and you and your action says otherwise, nobody ain't gonna take you serious. Shit. Basically, at the end of the day, be yourself. Be your real self. Be true to yourself, and don't try to follow. Like he just said, don't try to follow any crowds and such. Cause that. Cause. Them the crowds that could end up your ass either in jail, dead, or acting out weird and such throughout your entire life. So, hey, that's why I'll always be true to myself, no matter what. It's stop. Stop trying to fit in. Stop worrying about what others think. Stop exactly. waiting for love to validate your existence. Everyone is just as lost, confused, and insecure as you are, if not more. They're all slapping filters on their lives, pretending they're winning, when deep down they're drowning in the same I'm just a burden thoughts. So stop Thanks. wasting your time chasing their approval when it's clear you don't need it. No, you need to realize that just existing in this fucked up world is proof you're stronger than you think. Just think Max. about all those days that try to break you, all those rejections that cut deep, all those dark thoughts telling you to just do it, do no. it, do it! And yet, you're still standing, or sitting, depending on how high that roof was. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> oh, I miss you, Jimmy. Mm, you know what you want to do? Oh, you want to push... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, at the end of the day, like he said... Let me just skip over there, because I ain't trying to... Because I guarantee you, somebody who knows me watch this and such. But yeah, like he said, at the end of the day, be always try to believe in yourself more before anybody else cuz I guarantee you if you try to follow them if you are basically trying to follow people in such throughout your life if you're more of a follower than a leader of yourself or just trying to be yourself in such you're not gonna be successful you're not gonna be successful in such you're just gonna be known as somebody who can walk on you <laughs> so that's why I for me that's why I'm always just gonna be me I don't care what anybody thinks of me I mean hell even if you are thinking good if you are thinking bad hey it is what it is because at the end of the day I'm me and I'll never change if I want to change simple as that and you should too but hey shout out to offending everybody <laughs> nice little video crazy video but hey nice little message at the end and such but hey, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. It's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive. Keep the vibes up. I'm out.